Ladies and gentlemen, frogs and toads, welcome to my brand new video. Ooh -wee. Ooh. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to try not to have these guys fall off this table, but also I'm going to tell you all how to, how to be able to tell the difference between a male and a female toad, a uh, Gulf Coast toad to be precise. So today we have our two beautiful models um, right here. Goodness, they just love to just jump everywhere. <laughs> but um, I don't know if you can see, I think you can, um, but you can obviously see that there is a size difference between the two. Now, as you can see, when I have them side by side, you can see that there's a clear size difference. I'll have them come closer to the camera whenever, um, after I'm done talking, but you can see that there's a size difference and um, off of observation alone, you can distinguish between a male and a female toad. Now, how accurate is this? It's not too accurate because whenever you're out in the wild or whatever, um, let's say that a toad isn't fully grown, you might not be able to just uh, use your best judgment and say, oh, that one's a, you know, blah, blah, blah. But the, the female toads are typically, in the Gulf Coast toads, in majority of other toads, the Gulf Coast toad, uh, the female is going to be bigger than the male. So off of observation alone, you can clearly see that this is my female toad. And this right here is a beautiful, oh goodness, Mandy, you are fast. <laughs> this is our beautiful female model. This is Mandy. And then to our left is our beautiful male model. That's Billy. They're named after uh, Grim Adventures of Billy and Andy. It's a cartoon show. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so observation is the first, is, is, yeah, this is going to be the first one. Now, um, the second one, oh goodness, she stops hopping everywhere, is going to be the grit test. Now, during uh, the toad's breeding seasons, whenever toads reproduce, the males will grab on the back of the female toad and uh, actually, you know, grab onto them. And then the female, I don't know if this happens during or after, but the female will lay their eggs and the male will then fertilize the eggs. So I don't know if the female, I don't know if they do that um, simultaneously. I don't know if they, they fertilize it as soon as the eggs are deposited or if, if uh, the male uh, fertilizes it after the process. But um, here, I'm gonna have to get closer to the camera, so. All right. So, as you can see, Mandy is way bigger than what Billy is. And now that they're extremely close to the camera, uh, I think personally the best way to uh, distinguish the two is uh, right underneath their throat. As you can see, uh, Mandy, which is a female, her throat is uh, exactly one color, while Billy's is actually a yellowish, uh, like bluish grayish underneath their throat and then that is honestly the best way that you're that you're going to be able to distinguish between a male and a female toad all right so now we have billy and we have the grip test so billy can usually grab onto my you want to grab onto my you want to grab onto my arm billy no no grip you want to grab on no okay let me see if i let me see if you go grab on me as you can see, oh, no, Billy, you're just climbing her. Grab her, Billy. As you can see, Billy is grabbing on to Mandy right now. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here, but, you know, I'm going to set them down <laughs> before some disasters happens. All right. Whew. All right, these guys are not enjoying this at all. Okay. So the grip test is absolutely awful and you should never rely on that, but I just think that's kind of fun. But the last technique, which I'm not too fond of, is that the males um, during breeding season, whenever they want to reproduce, uh, they will actually chirp out for the, uh, for the females. But if you grab the male right behind their paratoid gland, they'll actually make a chirping sound. And uh, they make this not only to attract the females, but to also, if, if another male wants to mount on top of the male, they'll make the chirping sound to say, hey, get off of me, I'm a male, you know? So, 
I'm gonna demonstrate it on Billy right now. Give me here, Billy. Billy. All right, hopefully you can hear it. So you wanna gently grab them right by their paratoid gland. Gently grab it and lift up. Billy or croak. All right, Billy, I'm sorry. All right, and those are gonna be the four ways that you can. <laughs> oh, goodness, you should play basketball, Mandy. All right. These guys are not having fun at all, so I'm gonna put them back in their tank. But those are gonna be the four ways to distinguish between a male and a female toad. Hopefully, this helped you. The best way to do, I said the base, the best way, boo -boo 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 -boo. the best way to do it is to uh, look underneath their throat and see the uh, the discoloration between the two. So hopefully, everyone has a great day. I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in, in an extremely long time. Uh, I plan on getting back to uh, hopefully like two videos a week or something like that. Hopefully I can teach y'all something new. But yeah, hope everyone has a great day. I'll catch you later. Do 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 deuces. All right, goodness gracious, alpatacious.